What is going on everybody? So uh, we have been talking for a few months about this trip that we want to take to Colorado where we are going to go to Texas Toast Guitars and we are going to do some pickup winding classes and do some other guitar related stuff. Uh, but it's going to be about four weeks for that and then we're going to go out to California, Anaheim for the NAMM show which means it's going to be about six weeks by the time we go all the way out there, do that, go to California, and then come all the way home. We're going to be living in this, our 2022 Thor Tolero 20K. Uh, I tell you what, let me show you around this thing a little bit, show you what our home is going to be like for the next six weeks. So this is our house. Uh, it's quite small. It's 22 feet long. For those of you that have not followed the channel enough to know uh, that we have this. So let me just show you a couple of things about it. I'm going to flip you around and let's do it. All right, so we'll start with the driving end. So this is a Ram Pro Master chassis. Basically, it's a pretty simple van really, but it's pretty comfortable. We've already done about 6,000 miles doing some various camping in it. Uh, it's got storage all along, all the way down. Uh, it's got AC there. Underneath this chair is actually a 3000 watt inverter. And then underneath this this chair is a Truma Aquago hot water heater. And then this whole thing slides out into a bed. So that is where we are going to be sleeping. If we spin around this way, storage and TV, and we don't ever use a TV. And then this is the galley. So we've got our kitchen sink. We've got a cooktop and we've got a convection microwave. We've got a full refrigerator and freezer. And then this is probably the most important thing that people ask questions about, and that is the toilet. So uh, this is a wet bath, which basically means that this whole thing becomes a shower and you just like shower where the toilet is and then you have to wipe everything down when you're done. There is a closet right here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So some of you might be asking, how in the heck are you going to keep going with Dylan Talks Tone and all of the various craziness uh, that we do on a daily basis as far as making pickups and running the business and Leslie working and all of that. So I'm gonna go inside now and show you all of the life that has to go in this van. All right, so this is what you're used to seeing as my office. And obviously this is my cart of normal inventory. So when we make pickups, we pull all of our parts off of this particular cart here. It sounds very echoey and very loud in here because we have taken <laughs> most everything out of here already. Um, so over here is where like our shipping printer and scale and all that stuff. So that's all packed up. There is no pickup winder. There is no soldering iron. There is nothing left on this particular desk uh, except for a couple of coils of wire and I'll explain to you what we're doing with that stuff in just a minute. But what you see down here on the floor is big Pelican cases. So all of the inventory that I'm taking from here and a lot of our tools, this is our shipping computer um, and all of that stuff is all going in Pelican cases which is going to go on a roof rack on the van. So that is going to be happening. And basically we have pretty much emptied out the entire place. So then that's all of the work stuff, but not all of the work stuff. So what I did was I ordered an entire other month of inventory. So pretty much everything you see here, but a whole nother month's worth. And I had it shipped to Texas Toast Guitars in Denver so that we could continue to work once we get there. But I still have to bring all of my tools and stuff. So you scan across our more than messy living room right now. And we have uh, more stuff packed up over here, tools and whatnot. And of course, all the cameras. I'm shooting on a GoPro right now, but our main camera is here, our Canon R6, and some stuff we've got to ship, as well as more camera gear, drone, lenses, all of our other stuff. This is all of our stuff to do live streaming and everything. And of course, we're going to have a couple of small tripods and etc. And Leslie's going to have to pack up her office as well. And then the other thing is we're going to have to figure out kitchenware and all that kind of stuff. So over the next couple of days, you're going to see all of that going in that little van and seeing if we can fit it all. This is the first time we've lived in there for that long. We'll just have to see how it goes. So we went to somewhere. I'll try to find a link to them, put them in the description. I got all these soft baskets. 
Uh, so this is gonna be basically our pantry stuff. And we will show you once we get in the van where all of that stuff goes. See, they're kind of squishy on the side. I'll show you in a minute why that's important. So these upper cabinets uh, are very spacious, but the back of them is curved. So when we have that soft basket, uh, you can squish them in there easier. We found these little plastic things that will keep stuff organized in the fridge. And as you see us load this fridge, uh, it's going to actually work out pretty well, I think. I'm going to get a column of drawers. She's going to get a column of drawers. That might be the most challenging thing, but actually they fit more stuff than you think. I should also mention, since I got the second solar panel, so we have 400 watts of solar now installed, we can leave the refrigerator running all day, no problem, and we're still seven and a half amps to the positive and 100% charged. So the second solar panel has helped out a lot. So I guess the next thing we need to do is get all this up there. All right, just gotta lash them down and that'll be good. Let's get the big one up there now. Well, I would say that that worked pretty well. Got all the tools and everything on the roof. Got it all locked, got it all strapped. I think it's gonna be just fine. Well, it looks like it all fit and we're about to do it crazy and go on a road trip, uh, a long one. So I hope you stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, the like button, all the things and see us along the way uh we're gonna leave right now but that's where this video is gonna end and then we're gonna start another one because how many miles do we have to go 1544 1544 there you go we will see you on the road